Oh, it says it be. Hey guys, it's me, Kobe from Little Hope for everyone. Uh, I just want to say, hey, how's it going? Today's video is gonna be real short, and sweet. Oh, it's kind of crazy on my way to work. Stopped the intersection. Uh, well, of course, stopped at a red light. Thank goodness, thank the Lord, I stopped. Uh, in front of me, I was. There's, there was an exit that was coming off the freeway and onto a main main road. On, I don't know if you're, if you're from Salem, it's uh, it was coming off the northbound exit on the freeway, turning left on Mission Street. Um, so he makes the turn, and we're talking about a semi here. And I obviously he turned too hard, turned too sharp, but his I think his whole load in the back of his trailer shifted to one side, and literally this this trailer. I don't know how it didn't fall over. It was like literally like couldn't have been any closer. It was like angled like that to falling over I, right in front of me. I mean, we're talking. I was the first. I was the first car at the stoplight, and it was. It's crazy because uh, I guess the situation couldn't really happen because I was gonna say if a car was driving by, the trailer fell on him. That person would be dead. You know what I mean? It's just a weird scary situation and his whole load shifted like his trailer was punched like the back side of it was punched out from whatever hit the side of the trailer and he kept on driving obviously because and his back four tires started smoking because the trailer was literally sitting on top of his tires so I don't know if his air system blew out or it was just all of his load went to that one side and it was too much weight but it's just pretty crazy to think about that. I mean, that just brings me to a point of made videos on this in the past. You don't know when your time is up. You don't know when you're going to die. So that's the importance in, in, of knowing who Jesus Christ is. So that's just one of the important things of knowing who Jesus Christ is. Knowing that you, you will go to heaven to see him one day. Um, knowing that your soul is is saved, knowing that that you have been born again through Him. Because okay, let's all, let's all just think about this for a minute. If okay, we all start this life in sin, born in sin, and we have a dead spirit. So Jesus is not living but in, in any of us when we're born. That's due to the fall from Adam. We're all born in this state of being. Um, and if you think about it, if you're not born again, then your master is the world and your father is the devil. It's that simple. So, it's pretty, pretty it's a heavy concept to think about. If you're not born again, and we mean putting your trust in, in Jesus Christ and um, straying away from your old life. If, if you don't do that, then technically you're a devil worshiper. I know that sounds really bad, but you may not think of it like as that. You may just think of it as the world, I mean. But in reality, you serve the world, which means you serve yourself, and the father of this world is the devil. You either can have one, two fathers, the father, you can either, you can either please yourself, serve yourself, which is the father, your father would be the father of the world, which would be the devil, or your other father would be God. There's only two options. So it stops and makes you think like, hmm, most people probably don't even think of it like that. I know certainly... I never thought about that until the other day, really. So once again, I challenge you to know who Jesus Christ is. Have that relationship with Him. To get to know Him on an intimate level. And I can guarantee you, only good things will come from that. Since I've been a Christian, I, I don't have any regrets from, from becoming a Christian. 
all the fruits of the Spirit, the fruits of the Lord, are great things. They're things that we all want throughout our day. And they're promised to you through Jesus. If you want peace in your life, that's the fruits of the Spirit. If you want to be happy, joy, you want to have self-control, fruit of the Spirit. Contentment, fruit of the Spirit. Happiness, fruit of the Spirit. Joy, fruit of the Spirit. Self-control, fruit of the Spirit. All these things come with having the Spirit of Jesus Christ live inside you. They don't come instantly. Don't get me wrong. You have to get... You, it, 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 it is a process... But I can guarantee you the number one thing that I know, the very first thing that happened to me when I got converted was um, was I, I used Jesus as, as my Xanax, kind of not a very good way to put it, but I use him throughout my day if I'm feeling angry or if I'm thinking of something wrong or if I just know that I'm not thinking rightly, I give it to him. I, I pretend Jesus is holding out that basket and I give him my problem, I give him my anxiety, I give him my worry, I give him it, I give it to him. And he takes it away. If I ask him to take it away, it doesn't happen. I don't know why. But when I give it to him, it does. And the reason why I believe that happens is because it's me putting 100% trust in Jesus to fix the problem. That's the key. That's the answer. That's how things change. Putting your trust in Jesus Christ 100%. Renewing your mind. He renews your mind and your heart. He does the work. You, you, you're just there kind of for a long, along the ride. You're just, you're just there. Why oh, this person's driving 50 miles on the freeway. That's the biggest thing that I've 
starting to realize, as I read it last night in Genesis, I'm not sure what chapter, but it said, you know, something to the effect of, why do this sin if it grieves God's heart? It's like strictly defiant against God. Sin is what God hates, and he tries to destroy it. He doesn't, he, he does destroy it. He doesn't want us to sin. And that's why I think we're all put here on this earth. To prepare ourselves, to sanctify ourselves through daily prayer, talking to our Lord Jesus, through reading the Bible, through church, through fellowship to others, disciple others, spreading the word, spreading the good news. That's what being a Christian is. Sure, fundamentals, the basic thing about being a Christian is you have to believe in Jesus and believe that he died and rose, rose from the dead and on him all your sins are forgiven. I mean, that's the story of the good news of is, is Jesus dying and then coming back to life in his glorified body three days later. That's the hope that gives us hope. That's the act that changed everything in the world. If Jesus would not have rose again, we'd still be stuck in law. We'd still be stuck in the old covenant. But Jesus is the new covenant. Jesus is that new life. So I tell you, if you're struggling today, if you're struggling with anything, you're struggling with drug addiction. Drug addiction is a horrible thing to fight. And you won't lose if you try to do it on your own. Trust me. I know. I lost many times trying to do it on my own. Treatment wasn't enough. I went through treatment. And, and then when I was doing treatment, I never understood what, seriously, what, why do I still feel empty inside? Why do I still feel like I have no hope? I'm clean. It's because I didn't have Jesus. You will always have that longing inside yourself until you have find Jesus. You will always wonder what's wrong. I think that's my opinion. There will always be something sooner or later in your life because you're always striving for something and longing for something more. And that, what that is, is that's, that's the Holy Spirit. That's, well, that's not even the Holy Spirit because if you don't have Jesus in you, you can't be the Holy Spirit. That's just your conscious trying, maybe convicting you of telling you, hey, there's more to life. Maybe it's this little seed that somebody implanted in your head about Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a beautiful name. So I encourage you guys to know who Jesus is. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your father. God the Father, Jesus the Son in human form, and the Holy Spirit. That's the Trinity. That's the Godhead. That's what, that's what I believe in. So, we never know when we're going to die. I could have just died today on the freeway. We never know. I could die tomorrow. You could die tomorrow. You could have a heart attack. I've had many friends in this past few years die. I had, a, I had a friend, she stopped using drugs, and I don't know if I preached the gospel to her, but it makes me sad. She died on the freeway, or died on Horton Road. I don't know if the driver fell asleep, car flipped over, car caught on fire. She died, he died, and their little six-month baby died, burned to death. Done. It's like... don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when your time is up. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen today. So be prepared for that. That's what I want to happen. I don't want you to die and have regret and be like, wow, I should have known who Jesus was. I should have figured that out. I should have maybe put a little time into my salvation into the next life because there is another life. And there's two options, hell or heaven. And right now, if you don't know Jesus going to hell. It's hard, sorry to say it, but that's the truth. 
doesn't matter if you're a good person or not. Being a good person doesn't get you to heaven. It's knowing Jesus Christ gets you to heaven. It's the only way you get to go to heaven is through him. Because we are wretched sinners. Even after we're saved, we're still wretched people. And that's the thing that's hard. People, people don't understand that. I didn't understand that for the longest time. Humanity is... It's a weird concept to think humanity is not good. Through God's eyes, biblically. Sin is sin. Everybody sins daily. I don't know how I can count them. I can't even count how many times I sinned before I found Jesus Christ. I sinned over and over and over. I sinned so much it became normal. And it became my everyday life. I didn't know any different. But I tell you, there is a different life. It's through Jesus Christ. It's a good life. And I can guarantee you, I can make this promise to you that you put your full 100% trust into Jesus Christ, At the end, you won't. At the end, I guarantee you, this is 100% guaranteed or your money back. You put your trust in Jesus Christ, and at the end, you won't look back and go, man, I wish I would have done that. Not going to happen. Start today to get that relationship with Him. Know who He is. Through Him is heaven, is peace. All these things. So I ask you today. Trust in Jesus Christ. As your Lord and Savior. My work guys. Love you. Till the next video. Peace.